So this is a 1000 pound custom built system, a 3600X, delivered yesterday by overclockers.co.uk and this is video number 6 where we take it through its paces in terms of performance. And that's the overclockers PC delivered. There you go, that's what the box looks like. Overclockers UK logo all over it. Yeah, it's actually the same as the box I bought several years ago, three years ago when I last bought one from them. First starting point is Cinebench R20. This is a different machine. Uh, 4790K, six years old. So we'll get this one running first. And now we'll start the R20 uh, 3600X running and see what it benches at. So the 4790K has got a head start of a few seconds. So we took it already. Who's going to win? Obviously the 3600X should win. Six cores against four. It's close. Ooh, like a jet engine. We'll do a heat test to see what the heat's like. But this is the first software I've installed on it. Cinebench R20, I'll install hardware monitors as well. It's beating the 4790K. It should beat it easily. Although this system does have some applications open. Normally it gets around 20, 2000 on Cinebench or 20. Although it's nearly finished. Let's see where I'm guessing it's going to come around 3000. That's what I'm guessing. Probably better. What is it? 3,782 that is powerful the 3600X is a powerful processor 4790K is still chugging along nowhere near complete so it's a a big jump from a 4790K from a 4K to a 6 core processor. So if you're thinking of getting a 4 core processor or a 6 core, get a 6 core. Or oh, even better get an 8 core if you can afford it. It's like this 4 core is still trying to catch up. We'll run a single core test. Once it's complete, let's see what it is. Is it 2000? Yeah, that's pretty good for it. 2092 against 3782. There's no comparison. Although the single core should be closer. Again, let's start off the old 4790K first. Yeah, got it running. Now we're going to with a single core. Yeah. Advanced benchmark. So the 4790K has got good head stocks because it wasn't there on the menu. So now we're running single core. Let's look at the difference between a 3600X and a 4790K. This is in a six year old machine. And this one's brand new, just delivered yesterday. Built by Overclockers UK. I'm just taking it through its paces. This is the first test. Yes, this one will be for a student. Well, so I will be upgrading my old 4790K, probably to a Threadripper. Oh, it's a lot closer on the single cores. And also there's no jet engine noise but it is quite loud anyway clearly 
There's a big difference in performance between a 4 core and a 6 core whereas realistically 6 core should be the minimum processor you should be looking at in 2020 the minimum otherwise you're just getting you know, five six year old technology four core is what you would get in a system five years ago in this day and age six core is the minimum while eight core is probably optimum beyond that yeah, it's a bit overkill for most eight cores optimum six cores minimum four core now and we'll see what the single core performance is of a 3600X. They are quite close, but I think, yeah, the 3600X is taking the lead. Yep, clear lead. Even though it started afterwards. It's going to take it a while still. This one, I guess, is going to be around 420 score on single core. This one might be 480, 490, something like that, maybe 20% better, something like that, 15%. Yeah. I think it's going to get around 480, score of 480 against 420 for the 4790K. Oh, it's done. What is it? 508? That is a lot. That is a lot more than I thought it'd be. 479k is nowhere near done. So, 3600X is a powerful, cheap processor. How much was it? Yeah, I think it was. I can't remember now. About like 250 pounds, 260, 270 pounds, something like that. It's a powerful processor. On the benchmarks, anyway. 3782 and 508. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Compare that to this, it's still not finished. So, yeah, again, 3600X should be the minimum, and it is a powerful processor. You might not need to pay extra for an 8 core, not given these numbers. Well, that is plenty of processing power for most people. And I'm still using this 4790K, it's 6 years old, and this does, well, it is showing its age, but. Oh. 2092 430 oh. this system cost, cost me two and a half thousand pounds well, this one cost me 975 pounds so overclockers core.uk UK system 3600x performing well on the cine bench I'll run through, I'll install more software such as hardware, monitor, info so I can check its temperatures as well. But first impressions are very good, very good performance. Just got to check the temperature of the processor. <laughs> 